All right, guys, hello and welcome to my 20th tutorial. And in this tutorial, I will teach you how to use velocity on objects. Now, as you know, velocity, instead of like in your game, instead of just stopping right away when you move, you actually pick up some speed. This is really realistic, and it's used in the real world. For instance, you have a racing game, and you don't want, when you hit the brake of your car, you don't want your car to stop like right away. You want it to like, when you hit the brake, just like stretch it, it goes forward for a little, for uh, I'm sorry, for a bit more time, it goes forward, and then it just stops occasionally, because that means it picks up velocity, now, and acceleration, of course, so now to use um, velocity here, I just created a plane, positioned it at negative one on the y-axis, created a player sphere, and positioned the player a bit above the ground and on 5 on the z-axis, and I colored it completely blue. Alright, so if I run this program, I'm going to hit F5, we just see a blue sphere and a regular plane. Alright, so, now let's set up the key controls for our velocity. It's pretty simple. So if key down 200, which is the up arrow key, then z, velocity, pound, is equal to our original z velocity. Sorry, let me move that. Velocity. There we go. Plus, uh, yeah, pound. Just to make sure to signify that it's a floating point variable. 0 0.05. I think that's a pretty reasonable amount, so I'm just going to copy that line, that whole line there. Copying and pasting will be my friend, and it will be yours. Just going to do that and change this to key 208, which is the down key. And instead of adding, I, I will subtract the 0 0.05 degree. Z. And I'll just do the same. Well, actually, all right. Just going to control V and quickly control V. This will be key 203. This will be key 205. We need to change this to our x velocity since if we're moving on the x axis and yeah that should be it for our sorry what there sorry about that kind of took a long time but as you can see here i have now our velocity key control set up and we do now we just need to move the variables right here they mean nothing basically we need to move our player by those values. So it would be x velocity and it would be 0 or y velocity. In this case it's 0 since we still need to specify a value. So there we go, we're moving it by those values. And right now, if you move your cube, no, I mean, what am I saying? If you move your sphere, Notice that when you hold, I'm holding the down arrow key, you see, it's not, it's not that easy to stop it now, since it has gained velocity. I'm not pressing anything right now, just from the acceleration it's gained, it moving, it's moving toward us. Now, if you wanted a realistic game, you would want a more controlled velocity. Sorry, I messed up completely. I had both positives on the X, so I kind of forgot that. Just make it negative here. And now, let's see, that's just the left and right arrow keys. Now, as you can see here, it might not be too handy to have in some situations, but if you had a realistic car driving game, you would definitely want to use velocity. Just make sure it's a more controlled velocity. And just to show you, I just want to have an e-brake here. And our emergency brake, if key down, will be our space bar. I just like that. It's easier for me to remember. Then. And here we just copy down all our values. X velocity pound equals zero. Y just just to make sure if we're using Y velocity, and I doubt we will be, we can use it if we have a jumping player or something. But that's probably not very likely to use velocity when you're well actually yeah, you can use that. Well anyways we just reset all our values to zero. And that's all our the uh, space bar is going to do. So right here, we are now going to move our sphere. And if we hold our space bar, ah, uh, I just lost the viewpoint. 
Now wait. Gonna put this spear to. Oh man, I, I didn't press the space bar at the right time. Let's see. Space bar. So, space bar. Space bar. Space bar. Space bar. There we go. Now we have our emergency brake set up perfectly. Alright. So that was basically it on velocity. I will be starting sound tutorials. And I think sound is a very big part of game programming. It adds a lot of emotion to your game. And, yeah. I'll be teaching you not only how to import sounds and play the music, but how to control the pitch, how to make it loop, like stuff like that. Okay, guys? So, I'll see you.